the students this is the fifth video of ecosystem and topic covered in this video are food chain and type of food chain photosynthetic active radiation par food web 10% law of ecosystem standing crop trophic levels and energy flow so let's start So what is a food chain? We know that all organisms consume each other in a particular chain form. For example, plants are eaten up by grasshopper. Grasshopper is eaten up by insects and these insects would be eaten up by the frog and the frog would be eaten up by the snake. So this process of eating and being eaten to transfer energy is called food chain so the process of eating and being eaten to transfer energy is called food chain now let us look at various organisms in a food chain so the first organisms in the food chain are the producers example tree now these producers or plants would be eaten up by the animals which would be called herbivores or primary consumers example cow now these primary consumers would be eaten up by the secondary consumers which are also called primary carnivore example wolf and these secondary consumers would be eaten up by the tertiary consumers which are also called secondary carnivore example loin so producers would be eaten up by primary consumers primary consumers would be eaten up by secondary consumers secondary consumers would be eaten up by the tertiary consumers now let us understand what are trop trophic levels so various steps in a food chain through which transfer of energy takes place so various steps in a food chain through which transfer of energy takes place from one organism to another is called trophic levels for example producers are the first trophic level primary consumers are the second trophic level secondary consumers are the third trophic level and tertiary consumer are the fourth trophic level so various steps through which transfer of energy take place from one organism to the other are called as trophic levels now let us look at type of food chain there are two types of food chain grazing food chain and detritus food chain grazing food chain starts from the plants and then goes up to the herbivores and then to the carnivores so grazing food chain start from the plants goes to the herbivores and then to the carnivores whereas detritus food chain starts from dead organic matter then goes up to the decomposers which will consume this dead organic matter and then to the predators of decomposer which will eat the decomposer example of detritus food chain is for example a leaf a leaf it would be eaten up by a decomposer like crab which would be further be eaten up by a carnivorous fish so there are two type of food chain grazing and detritus food chain in grazing food chain it starts from the plants whereas detritus food chain starts from the dead organic matter now let us understand what is a food web system of interconnected food chain is called as food web what do you mean by system of interconnected food chain it means if i connect various food chain with each other what would be formed a food web would be formed so if i interconnect various food chains with each other a food web is formed now let us look at 10% law of ecosystem this law was given by lindman in 1942 according to this law 
only 10% of the total energy is transferred from one tropic level to the another. So, only 10% of the energy is transferred from one tropic level to another. The rest 90% of the energy is lost as heat to the surrounding. Now, let us consider this with an example. Now, let us assume that 1000 Joule of energy is used by the plants from the sun. Now, when this plant would be eaten up by the deer, he would get only 10% of this 1000 Joule of energy. Means 10% of 1000 Joule means 100 Joules. So, a deer will get only 100 Joules of energy. Rest 900 Joules would be lost as heat. Now, when this deer would be eaten up by the loin, he would also get only 10% of the energy present in the deer. Now, deer has 100 joules of energy, so the loin will get 10% of this 100 joule. That means 10 joules of energy. Rest 90 joules would be lost as heat. So, as we move from one tropic level to the another, only 10% of the energy is transferred. This is 10% law of ecosystem. Now, let us look at what is photosynthetically active radiation or PAR. So, PAR is the part of solar radiation which can be used by plant for photosynthesis. So, part of solar radiation which can be used by the plant for photosynthesis is called PAR. Now, out of total incident solar radiation, 50% of it is PAR. And out of this 50% of PAR, plant consume only 2 to 10% of PAR. Now, what is standing crop? Amount of living matter or biomass at a given time in a tropic level represents standing crop. So, how much is the living matter in a given tropic level? It represents its standing crop. If you have gained something from this video, do subscribe to my channel Ramji Chopra, comment, like and share.